Uh, thank you, Philip, the, uh, to inviting me to this the special event. And uh, I want to s start from the history of design, as so Philip explained before. As, uh, he studied from Alberti as here in Italy, as uh, you are very familiar as, uh, to Alberti. The Alberti, is, as, uh, he studied architectural drawing, so then so he passed uh, the information of architectural drawing to construction site. As, uh, after Alberti, as, as uh, he mentioned about the Eiffel, the Eiffel Towers, the Eiffel Towers method, the, the construction is very much involved with the drawings, as, and, and as uh, many, many pieces are assembled together. As assembly is a very important idea for the, the, that kind of construction. And uh, then the 1990s, Frank Gehry. As, uh, as, uh, Frank Gehry is uh, what as, uh, was the achievement of Frank Gehry? So, so, he as, uh, created the unique shape as, 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 as only possible by the parametric design. And then, as, uh, as uh, I basically think, he is as a, as, a, as a form giver, as a, he created a new type of form so by the parametric design method. And what as I want to do um, is a little bit different from Frank Gehry. Frank, Frank Gehry is very interested in shape and the form of the building, but my interest is mainly about pieces, the parts. And, uh, and the pieces uh, as uh, I try to bring architectures is basically structural element. This is a part of the structure of the building, and this is different from Langeli. And Langeli, as, uh, he designs a shape, and he as, uh, as, uh, and after as he worked with a structure engineer as, uh, to find the solution of the flame. And after, so he so tried to combine structure and cladding. But a, so my approach is different f from him. So I try to integrate structure and skin, structure and cladding. And, uh, and that approach is very much related with contemporary computational uh, computational technology, so we worked with Katia very often so, to so find the, the, best, the, is the best unit for our design. And, uh, and the, at this period, 2000, the Hiroshige Museum, I'm very much interested in small pieces, but not, I don't, I didn't think the small pieces can be the structural element. I want to show the, the inspiration came from this artwork by Hiroshige. And that you see the lanes, lines of lanes, this, this lines, and there's a uh, super juxtaposition of layers. And the Vincent van Gogh also, also copied the, this uh, the drawing by oil paint. And also, Frank Lloyd Wright was very much influenced by the method of Hiroshige. And my Hiroshige Museum, please look at the small pieces. The building basically were made by one single piece. This is a, the wooden stick, wooden louvers, and dimension is the same. The three centimeters by six centimeters. This is the size of each pieces, and the, as a, and, the, and the pitch of those louvers is uh, as consistent, 12 centimeters, and repeating the same pitch, repeating the same unit, and, uh, as a, and, and eventually, so we can create this kind of ambiguous hole. It is very different from Frangeli's as a solid home. You can find the small pieces and uh, today, uh, the time is limited, and then uh, I, 
I want to pick up the, uh, the one topic. The topic is mainly about pieces and how to assemble it. As I, as for normal lectures, I want to explain about the, what is this program, what is the material, but, but today is a different topic. There's also for interior small pieces, assembly of small pieces. And for the, for the stones, we have the same module, the 12 centimeters, repeating 12 centimeters is the basis of our method. And the bamboo, as also as we did apply the same method. The same size of bamboo repeating as the assembly of, as a, of one single unit. This is close to Great Wall in China. And as of every element, wall, ceiling, the floors, made by same, same unit. But for that period, I didn't think about the integration. This project is as a wooden building, a wooden pavilion, and it's also constructed here in Milan. And uh, it's uh, 2007. Uh, for this project, so we thought about integration of structural element and shape of the building. Those, those, those tiny sticks are supporting the building. And uh, I got a hint from the toy as a, as a, for Japanese kids. This toy a, has a three types of joint. And the dimension is the three centimeters, three centimeters. It is so tiny. As a, this shows the assembling system. The twist it and fix it. So we brought those sticks from Japan as my student has assembled it by their own hands. And, uh, and these tiny sticks are supporting the pavilion. It's a structural element. It is as a, uh, there is no separation between cladding and the structure. Structure itself is, sub, is as a shape, as a defining the shape of the building. And after that pavilion, uh, we transfer that idea to the permanent uh, the building. So we tested that structure system, and the 10 meters high building, the three-story building made by the one single unit. This is the dimension is six centimeters, six centimeters. It is bigger than the small pavilion, but real building, permanent building, were constructed by a single unit. And actually, the, for this the pavilion, the, we need the, the advanced information technology, CATIA. The, we check, the, the, we compare the dimension and the structure. And uh, we should work with structure engineer uh, the interactively. Uh, the, we need to work uh, as a, with him on the same platform. So if we as a check, if we want to check the, the structure of the building, we need to send him the, the our 3D data so by the system, and, so, and back and forth, and so we can check the, the, the beauty of the building and the structural the stability of the building at the same time. And without the, as a CATIA system, so we cannot achieve this kind of as a 
those platform. And uh, actually, we tested many dimensions, as uh, six centimeters, six centimeters, five by five, and the pitch of the, the span, spanning as a 50 centimeters, 60 centimeters. So many, many of the possibilities exist, but we try to find the, the best solution by using this platform. And uh, this building, as the people believe, that the thought, it is a natural material based on the traditional Japanese technology. But it looked like traditional technology, but actually the contemporary technology it can make it happen. And today, as a, uh, as a, uh, I want to explain about that kind of as a, as a, as a, as a, that kind of process, only realized by as a as a new as a t computer technology. And the good thing for this is as a, this as a as a system also can be used for the shelves and space for exhibit. The structural element can be used for that kind of furniture, the shelving system, and as a, in another word, it is a multiple integration. And uh, the next step is as a, this as a uh, tri triangular diagonal structure system by the same unit. The unit again six centimeters by six centimeters sections, and uh, those the small elements are supporting the building. This is not decoration. This is the structure of the building. And this shows the process of construction. And uh, the next project is related <coughs> with the installation of for Cartier and for the sun system. As a, you, saw, you saw the installation in the next space. <coughs> and this is, is the ref, ref, reinforcement of the existing building. The existing building is, is as a, as a 40 years concrete structure, and, uh, but it is not enough as a, to resist earthquake. And then so we try to find a new way of re reinforcement. A normal way is to use bracing, the steel bracing. But I think steel bracing is not an elegant way to make buildings stronger. And uh, we found this material. It is a carbon fiber. And the carbon fibers, the, the, the supported at the top of the building to the bottom of the building, that the connect the two the, as the essential part of the building to make building much stronger than before. As a, by using soft material, so we can achieve the, this kind of as a, uh, this kind of as a reinforcement, and we uh, as again, so we should as a, establish the one platform between engineers and us. The pitch of the the carbon fibers. And the coverage of the carbon fibers reflect our final solution. And also, the visually, it is very different from normal steel 
as well as enforcement. And also for interior, we did use public. Because this company is a, is a public company, and uh, I, t I tried to find a new way of using public, using the string for construction. And uh, so this is a very new project so for Scotland. So the, uh, the site is closer to this beautiful cliff. As uh, we got a hint from this cliff, the shape of the cliff is very organic. As the uh, nature of the place is, uh, is, is very difficult to the, as, uh, calculate, the, but naturally nature produced this beautiful shape. So uh, we want to do the, the similar of the process to create organic form. This is, a, this is my first sketch, and uh, this is the, the plan of the museum. And uh, so we try to find the best, the appropriate size of the con precast concrete panel and appropriate size and angle, and those many as the parameters are very much related to each other, and by establishing the platform, engineers and us, and after, as a, in the second step, and the construction company worked together the, to find the solution for this. This shows the process of finding the best solution. And this is the result. And this building museum will open the September 15th. And then now we are doing the final as a, as a interior work. And the, the final result is very natural, organic. But the, the, to find that solution is not natural. <laughs> it's a very advanced technology. <clears throat> it was needed to find this solution. Yeah, the, and also for interior, <clears throat> uh, the <clears throat> we did use Katia for finding the best solution for this organic shape. The outside uh, exterior, as we did use biggest concrete the, the sticks, but for interior, we did use wooden panels, but as a, the inclined in a different angles that to create the one organic impression. And, then, and then finally, so we, we did achieve this effect. And so in, in Paris, <coughs> we are designing this station, but based on the same idea. And uh, besides those bigger projects, so we try to uh, apply that method as, uh, with the new material. This project is, uh, is, was constructed by ceramic tiles. <clears throat> and usually, the ceramic tiles is, uh, is used for cladding. But this building, is, uh, ceramic tiles, is, was used for structural element. It's very f different from Frangeli's approach. Frangeli is uh, always cladding, but this building is a tile itself supporting the building. It's, it's, a, it's a big challenge. And this is a structural as analysis. It's a big challenge. 
the new material, the new shape. But as always coming from the, the small parts, the assembly of the small parts then can create the ambiguous whole. As a, also, it, that project happened in Milan in 2008 for Triennale in Milan. As a, for this project, the unit is umbrella. The assembly of the umbrella the cre created one pavilion. The umbrella was used for structural element. As a, again, as a, this project was inspired by Buckminster Fuller. The Buckminster Fuller, the, he, the, he designed the Fuller Dome. You know Fuller Dome, it's just a very new idea at that period, 1960s. But there's, the Fuller Dome as a, was achieved by the flame structure system. But this dome is assembly of the small unit. And the joint between the umbrella is zipper. This is the, the unit. And the 15 student worked together to build that build the pavilion. And you, you can see the joint. The joint is a waterproof zippers, and no flame. As a, only as a existing flame is this tiny steel flame. It is a normal flame of umbrella. But if we calculate carefully so we can build that building by small units. I want to testify the strongness of small unit as by computer technology. It's a window, it's an entrance. And the, the basis of that was a pavilion is if earthquake happens, if tsunami happens, so we, we, we will carry the special umbrella. And, uh, and if the, the we can find the friends the carrying the same umbrella, we can build the house together. And 15 umbrella is perfect number to, to make that geometry. So that idea, the 15, 15 as hexagons as is, came from the idea of uh, Buckminster Fuller. And after the, the, the completing this as a pavilion, the student drank together and slept together in this pavilion. It's big enough for 15 students. This material. And uh, the, this is also related with new soft material. It is a tea house in Frankfurt, Frankfurt Museum. And the uh, soft material can create this unique experience. And also another soft, soft house was inspired by the, the, the house by bamboo leaves for as a uh, uh, ethnic minority in Hokkaido area. The people were using that kind of bamboo leaf house. And in also same Hokkaido, we designed this soft fabric house. The interior is like that. The basis of those pavilion is as a, my definition of 21st architecture. 20th century architecture was hard, heavy, and rigid. And in 21st century, 
we need soft architectures and the light architecture, and the fabric is, can be the best up material for this kind of soft architecture. And uh, this is another example of soft pavilions, bamboo pavilions. But as I, I want to show the, the installation today. The another, the another 3D data is needed to make these pavilions. And the soft material, example of soft materials. Is a, Yeah, so finally, I want to show the pavilion I designed for a DASO system. First sketch, and the idea is like that. The city was very much polluted. And that installation can be that as a new tool to solve that pollution. And uh, the materials we did use for the pavilion is this special fabric. This fabric can absorb, absorb the, the powders of uh, the uh, contamination. And uh, this is a layer, three layers of fabric to absorb the, the pollution. And uh, as our method is to, is to create internal structure in the fabric. And normally, as a um, fabric is used for skin and the structure and skin. But if we can hold the fabric like origami, origami method, so we can create internal structure of public. The, the, the before folding, the paper is papers, cannot, cannot stand. But if we hold the papers, like origami, the paper can stand, as you know. So we use th that system. And also, the, the good thing for folding is to is increase the, the surface of material. For absorbing pollution, to have the bigger surface is very necessary. And uh, this is the, some mock-ups of the f f installation. We compare the pitch and uh, the, the, the position of folding and also the 3D data system is very necessary to uh, uh, simulate the, the strongness of this system. And you see the, the, the absorb the pollution like that. And uh, as we as, uh, I worked with structure engineers to create that unique shape. And uh, we combined the, this origami folding with the carbon fiber as a, together the, to create as one of the strong piece. And uh, the Katia realized uh, that very complex shape. And uh, again, this is not as a decoration. This is standing itself. It's a structure. And then the, uh, the simulation is very complicated. Only the Katia could do that kind of simulation. Uh, this is the final the result of that simulation. And uh, after my lectures, Please check the installation again. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and the, the conclusion today is we are going to softness. And, uh, and softness, a natural material, 
that are needed by our period. And uh, the natural material is not enough. So we need the computational technology like CATIA to combine the sustainability and the softness. And uh, it, that installation is one of the good examples uh, to show the future of architecture. Thank you very much. Thank you much. Arigato, Kosamashita. So I think it was a, <laughs> it was a perfect, uh, perfect conclusion of the day. Uh, we are very proud to, um, to help you conduct the, uh, the revolution of soft, uh, soft architecture, uh, soft building. And, and we'll continue, of course, to work with you, with your engineers, to make even more realistic and more emotional things together. So thank you very much for, uh, for that. Um, and I think to conduct a revolution, you've seen, you know, it, of course, it needs a platform, but it needs also people. It needs conviction and emotion from the people to make it happen. And I think this is uh, the conclusion, the takeaway I want you to take. It's not only um, technology, science and art, it's also a human story that is behind it.